Now you gotta see I have a different hat today. It's because I really don't want this smell to go on my hat. It's just licking on a sugar syrup. I feel like I'm eating instant. It doesn't Why do you do this to yourself? You know what? It's okay. It's a tobacco leaf wrapped with flavoring all over the thing. All over. All over. Like there's no other way. Hey guys, Tony the Story Stars Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And I guarantee this is the one that you don't want to watch. All right? So today we're finally doing this thing called Drew Estate Asset Cuba Cuba. Yep. So you hear me talk shit about flavor cigar all the time. But like, you know, Eric and I, like I told Eric, I was like, you know, we can't really not do a review and mock it because you got to prove that you smoked it. You actually show that you know how it tastes like before you go at it and mock the crap out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to smoke one and record it and tell you exactly what I think so that we can settle this once and for all. Now you got to see I have a different hat today. It's because I really don't want this smell to go on my hat. So let's talk about the detail of this thing. This is a Robusto 5x54. Uh, the wrapper type, Ecuadorian Sumatra, Nicaragua filler, and binder. And I really think what this is made out of doesn't matter. Because you're putting flavor in something to cover up the flavor. So this thing could be made out of paper and it will still taste the same. All right? Uh, this thing... Uh, I can't really find an MSRP. I guess it's probably between eleven or twelve dollar. When I bought it from a local shop, I think the price was between fifteen or seventeen. I can't remember how exactly much, how much it is, but I definitely overpaid. But to do this review, we shall get it done. We shall get it done. Now the smell of it, it smells like a scented incense, like the the patchouli uh, flavored incense. It's sweet as hell. And and it just yeah. Is that is that incense smell? I just don't know how to describe it. It's like an incense. Okay. And let's cut it, light it. Ah, super sweet. Super sweet. The cap is definitely sweetening. Because it's sweet the moment I lick it. It's sweet the moment. Oh my god, it's really sweet. It tastes like the sweetness is like... um. um just licking on a sugar syrup. Kind of sweet. Like if you burn this thing, you'll think like this thing's gonna burn right through it and it's gonna, you know, not do well. I don't think any of my lighter want to light this thing today. Right, here we go. Yep, it doesn't. It's out of fuel, but I'm too lazy to do to fill it while I'm filming, so I'm just gonna get another one. This whole aroma thing, you just all you smell is that instant, it's like that sweet, uh, instant smell. So go and get one of those like India patchouli, uh, instant. You know exactly what I'm talking about, it smells exactly the same.
the flavor is basically overwhelmingly sweet, overwhelmingly artificial, and a little bit woodsy. Draw is super loose, and now I'm seeing tunnel. And whistles too. Yep. That's what you're buying. So behind, underneath that, um, that artificial sweetness, there is a little bit bitterness, bitterness to it. It's almost like eating those um, fake sugar. You get a sweetness and then you get bitterness after that. Oh. Yeah, I definitely hate it. I feel like I'm eating instant. It doesn't taste anything like a cigar should be. There's no none of the cigar notes in here really. Other than a little bit of um like cedar next to it. In fact, this taste, this overwhelming sweetness kind of hurts my jaw right here a little bit. There's something that's close resembling of pepper, but I can't tell if that's pepper because it's that sweetness just kicks through and you're not going to taste anything after that sweetness kicks through. And it gets floral. So you get that instant taste. And you get floral. And you get bitterness. And the moment that you stop, bitterness just kind of spreads with some little bit of pepperiness, like spiciness to it. And, and that's pretty much it. And then lingers is that really artificial sweetness. Alright, so I'm going to try to work through one third. And I'll be back after one third. Why do you do this to yourself? You know what? It's okay. The moment that I think about Eric had to suffer through this it makes me happy a little bit. So, Eric, I hope you enjoy this. Ugh. I know a lot of there's gonna be a lot of haters about this. Um, um, that that's it. Tony. You don't know what you just don't like the uh, Jewish day. You're bullshitting you all that stuff. But I used to smoke flavor cigars. Just even when I smoke flavor cigars, I hate it, Cuba Cuba. I hate it, Cuba Cuba. It's just the, the smell, the taste, just, yeah. It just doesn't matter how many times I get back here to smoke this. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Um, I mean, even Java was a little bit more acceptable flavor, even though I don't really like it. But this thing is over the top. But yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. One third. It burns super funny, I don't know why, but it burns super funny, it draws okay, it just burns super funny. It looks like there's tunneling, but it burns, so, and tunneling on the side too, it burns, but I don't know. Uh, it tastes, you know, it burns, but it's, you can see that it's very uneven of a, of a thing. <clears throat> So I, I don't know. Like I don't like it. It makes me start to I don't know burp and hiccup. It's just not a flavor that I enjoy. So I don't know what else to tell you other than it tastes like just artificially sweet and artificially like floral and artificially like a incense uh and tastes nothing like a cigar or what a cigar should be. It's not manly. It's not elegant. It's just not tasting good. I don't know why people do this. Like you might as well go light up a incense and just smell it because that's what it is. Um, the strength, I can't even tell the strength because this thing does make me feel a little bit dizzy here and there. Uh, 
so I can't tell the strength on this. Yeah, see, I'm having the draw is burning, but it's not really giving me any smoke. And it looks like it's burning all the way, but it's not. It just it tastes like okay. At parts, it's very strong. At parts, it's water down, uh, inconsistent. There, there's no part of it I can say I'm enjoying. No part of it. So yeah, I'll continue to smoke it, and um, well, I'll see you that end of second third. I don't know why people. I cannot tell why people enjoy this other than the fact that they enjoy that flavor. But that flavor is really not a flavor. It's not food that you eat. <coughs> it's not food that you eat. I don't. I don't enjoy this at all. I don't know why people smoke this. All right, I'll be right back. Like my camera doesn't want to focus on me anymore. So this is where it is. You see, funny burn. I still try to touch it up. Funny burn tastes just the same thing all over. You're not going to get transition. You're not going to get anything other than that flavor, that like patchouli, India, incense, sweet, crazy candy, floral flavor. I don't even know how to describe it other than that. You, know, you can smell it right away. That's how it is. Uh, it does not taste like a cigar. I, I don't know what else to, to describe it other than it doesn't taste like a cigar. The whole mouth is just that sweetness. Even if I drink soda, I can't wash it off. I drink coffee. Like here, I got soda. I got coffee. Now it's like half done. I got water. Uh, none of the thing can wash that flavor off. It just doesn't go off. It just, that tastes pretty nasty. So I don't know why people like it. So uh, yeah, I, 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 like I said, this is going to be a suffering not a very good review and, and, and i just need to smoke through it and not cry about it and suffer and suffer i i i cannot understand why people like this cigar i cannot even as a smoker that used to smoke flavor cigars i still cannot understand why people choose this cigar like right now if you tell me to go smoke a a java coffee whatever i can Bear fruit with it. You tell me to smoke this thing. I just, every puff is like, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why? But the only thing that's pushing me through to be able to continue to smoke the cigar is number one, I'm doing a review for you guys. And number two, I know Eric had to suffer through it too. So. Anyways, I'll finish up and let's go to the, uh, I'll finish up and let's go through the, the summary. Jeez, this thing's making me not be able to talk. I'll be back. All right. So here we go. Finished up. I'm done with this thing. I should have. I'm done with this thing. There we go. That's what it deserves. That cigar is an insult to cigars because basically it covers everything else. It's not a cigar. It doesn't taste like a cigar. It's not a cigar. It's just you put a bunch of things in a tobacco leaf as catalyst. Like you can literally put anything. You can be burning paper. You can be burning, I don't know, pizza, skin, whatever. So long as you put that flavoring in there, it's going to taste the same thing. I think this particular thing kind of stuff is an insult to cigar because it's not cigar. It's you're not tasting cigar. You're not enjoying a cigar. You're just doing what a cigar smoker do. You know, like a little kid doing one of those candy cigarettes kind of thing, and then they pretend they're smoking, but it's not. It's this. This is pretty much that. You're pretending you're smoking a cigar without tasting the cigar, or you know, actually using the cigar. Really, just to, yeah, you got tobacco leaves. But the whole thing is tasting like that instant. You might as well go, go eat the instant tape paste that they use before they roll the instant. It's just the same thing. It's the same thing. Like I, you know, there's no other way to describe this cigar. It's not enjoyable for me. If I had to pay for it, obviously I pay overpay for it. But you know, what this cigar is worth to me, 
All right. I'll give it a dollar. And the only reason I'll pay for a dollar is probably because I'm going to give it to someone else. You know, I won't smoke it for myself. It's, it's not a cigar I want to smoke, smoke for myself. Some people like it. That's totally fine. You like that. But I, I really don't think that you can even call that a cigar because it's not a cigar. It's a tobacco leaf wrapped with flavoring all over the thing. All over. All over. Like there's no other way that you can taste a cigar in here. You're not tasting cigar. Right? Imagine eating pizza that tastes like a... Uh, no, that, that's a bad analogy. Imagine chewing on your cell phone and it tastes like a pizza. That's basically what it is. Anyways, this band, everybody knows. When I see it, I avoid it. So there's nothing to talk about it. Blue band, shiny, acid. You know, it gets the... Uh, I got, I guess, new smoker or, or newer generation or stuff like that to like it. Not classy, whatever. Just, I guess, modern, cool, you know, something special. You know, it's tried. To, this thing is the same type of advertisement that's similar to uh, a vape. It's cool. It's modern. It's it. It's flashy. Okay. In the back, tells you who makes it, of course. And that's pretty much all I can talk about it. I mean, there's. I don't like it. I smoked it. I still hate it. There's no way to say something good about this because I just don't like it. But they get the Robusto size, right? It's Robusto. <laughs> okay. But uh, construction, not that good. Burn. You guys see it. It burns funny. I had to touch up probably like four or five times. And yeah, the entire experience, just like when can this end? I literally have to have three different drinks to try to get rid of that flavor out of my mouth. It's just not enjoyable. So, if you're a new smoker, you're looking like, hey, I wonder how Kupa Kupa tastes like. And you look for those fans that smoke Kupa Kupa who started off at Kupa Kupa, you got to get a good review on that. You got to go, oh, this is cool. And you got to smoke it and you got to hate it. All right? If you want to be a real smoker, start smoking with a real cigar. Go light, go Connecticut, whatever, and move your way up. That's cigar. If you want to just taste this thing, just go drink a juice or something like that. I don't know. There's just there's no other good way to describe how cigar should have been. I know there are fans for it. I know there are people that absolutely loves it. But I personally, honestly, don't feel like that is called smoking a cigar. That is called smoking a flavoring. Right? Like I say, I can put anything else on there for it to burn. It could be paper. It could be, I don't know, some other things that you can burn. Uh, rice, uh, you know, noodles. And so long as you put that flavoring on there, it's going to taste the same thing. It doesn't have to be tobacco. It just happened that they do, they do it with tobacco. That's all. All right. So that's it for this review. I cannot honestly expect you to like it. But if you do, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Share to those people who just started so they don't make that same mistake. I know there's a lot of Drew Estate fans, but still, seriously, smoke a real cigar. All right, here we go. So that's it for this uh, review today. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a better cigar. Bye, guys.